Today we have our giant Beyblade Stadium and a quarter cup of water. Let's recreate three iconic anime battles from each season of the Metal Fight anime on a water filled Beyblade Stadium. The Beyblades that we're going to be battling with should have some interesting interactions with water on the stadium. For the first battle, we're going to have Rock Scorpio versus Cyber Pegasus. On the left, we have Rock Scorpio, a right spinning defense type Beyblade owned by Busujima in the anime. Because of the spikes on the Jog Ball tip, Rock Scorpio is said to not be affected by any liquids. On the right, we have Cyber Pegasus, a right spinning attack type Beyblade owned by Sora in the anime. Cyber Pegasus's tip hole flat has a hole inside of it that could either affect it negatively or positively because of the water on the stadium. These two fought in the anime, but in their stadium, it had oil inside of it, so we're going to be recreating that but with water. And for our second battle, we're going to have Grand Cetus versus Galaxy Pegasus. On the left, we have Grand Cetus, a right spinning defense type Beyblade owned by Wells in the anime. Grand Cetus's tip, Rubber Sharp, has extremely good defense and should have enough grip and length to survive the Waterfield Stadium. On the right, we have Galaxy Pegasus, a right spinning attack type Beyblade owned by Jinka in the anime. I think this is going to be a pretty hard matchup for Galaxy Pegasus because along with having to break through Grand Cetus' defense, it has to be able to do that on a wet surface which will reduce its friction greatly. And if it gets stuck in the center of the arena where the water level is higher, it's going to be very hard for Galaxy Pegasus to manage to pull out a win. And for the last battle, we're going to have Phantom Orion vs Diablo Nemesis. On the left, we have Phantom Orion, a right spinning stamina type Beyblade owned by Chris in the anime. Phantom Orion's tip bearing drive has a free spinning tip which I suspect won't get affected as much by the water resistance as the top portion of the Beyblade can still continue to spin regularly. And on the right we have Diablo Nemesis, a right spinning balance type Beyblade owned by Rago in the anime. I chose Diablo Nemesis because we really needed a good attack type to be able to knock Phantom Orion out. Out of every other Beyblade, it seems like Phantom Orion has the best and the clearest advantage over any other Beyblade against the water on the stadium. Besides the lower friction that will have in general, which every other Beyblade will have as well, its stamina won't get affected as much. So now that we know about all the matchups, let's get on to the battles. Here we have Rock Scorpio vs Cyber Pegasus. For this match, we're going to be doing a best of 5, so first to 3 points will take it all. <laughs> Great start for Cyber Pegasus actually being able to outspin Rock Scorpio by damaging it early on. The score is now 1 0. A great hit by Cyber Pegasus knocks Rock Scorpio towards the wall and drains its stamina. The score is now 2 0. Cyber Pegasus drops first and Rock Scorpio takes the win with the stamina battle. The score is now 2-1. The battle is about to end, but who is going to draw first? And it looks like Rock Scorpio takes the loss, which means the score is now 3-1 for Cyber Pegasus. Such a great battle here by Cyber Pegasus being able to actually knock Rock Scorpio towards the wall and draining its stamina completely. But now let's answer the real question here. Did the spikes on the jog ball tip actually not make it affected by water? Realistically, it probably did get affected a lot worse than Cyber Pegasus did as well because of the large surface area on its tip. But now for our second match, we have Grand Cetus versus Cyber Pegasus. Once again, we're going to be doing a best of five, so first to three points, we'll take it all. 
Pegasus gets a great upper attack which leads to a one hit KO, the score is now 1-0. Pegasus just got completely obliterated by the water on the stadium. The score is now tied 1-1. Pegasus just can't knock out Grand Cetus and Grand Cetus is just holding off way too well with its defense. The score is now 1-2. Now while doing these water battles, I thought of an idea that the water will probably affect Grand Cetus just as much as Pegasus is. And since Grand Cetus has a rubber sharp tip, it's going to be forced towards the center of the arena most of the time. The score is now 2-2 by the way. As I was saying, Galaxy Pegasus really doesn't need to knock out Grand Cetus anymore to win. Because of the water, it just needs to let the water affect Grand Cetus enough towards where it can outspin it. And this strategy actually works. The score is now 3-2 which means Galaxy Pegasus takes the win. I might have shown a little bias towards this match, but I just really wanted to show you guys how Galaxy Pegasus can actually take this win using the water at its advantage rather than its disadvantage. Sometimes you just gotta think outside the box. And now for the long awaited battle, we have Phantom Orion versus Diablo Nemesis. And like always, we're going to be doing a best of five, so first to three points will take it all. Phantom Ryan takes the first round with the win and now the score is 1-0. And an instant knockout here by Diablo Nemesis, the score is now tied 1-1. Diablo Nemesis just couldn't knock out Phantom Orion. The score is now 2 1. What a great sequence of attacks there by Diablo Nemesis, and now the score is tied 2 2. A lot of great hits by Diablo Nemesis early on, but Phantom Orion just managed to hold on. The score is now 3-2, which means Phantom Orion takes the win. The bearing drive tips just look so good on the stadium. Phantom Orion is barely getting affected at all by the water resistance. Probably or maybe even the most ideal tip for using a water stadium. Now, I just wanted to do another battle using Very Ares and Diablo Nemesis versus Phantom Orion. In theory, it should be a 2v1, but Realistically, it's probably just going to be an all-out battle. First round goes to Phantom Orion. We're going to do two total rounds, so we have one more battle. A complete three-way KO. I think this is a pretty good way to end the battle. Anyways, if I were to do any other water battle, what other Beyblades would you guys like to see in the stadium? Or maybe what kind of other stadium would you guys like to see? But yeah, other than that, thank you guys all for watching.